horses and breaking and this time I'm going to be talking about um, the fact that the stock and distance equals thinking distance plus breaking distance. Okay, so it's the combination of those two factors, thinking plus breaking. But what is thinking distance? So thinking distance is equal to um, the distance travelled by the vehicle and the time it takes to react. So this is the time before the brakes are pressed. This is affected by things to do with the driver. So things like uh, tiredness, drugs, including alcohol, and weather conditions. Because if you can't see, you can't think, you need to break. So thinking distance, the driver does the thinking. So if you remember, thinking distance is all things to do with the driver. Next one, braking distance. Braking distance is um, how far after the brakes are pressed to take the stop. And this depends on all things to do with the car because this one is braking distance, so it's to do with the brakes. So you talk about the quality of the brakes, or the tyres, or the road, or the weather. Um, and the other bit that's kind of obvious is the fact that if we know that um, distance equals speed times time, then we know that the distance is also going to be influenced by the speed, and that doesn't matter whether it's braking distance or thinking distance, they will both be increased by how fast you're going. And um, the other thing that's really useful to know is the fact that if you remember that uh, we said that kinetic energy equals a half mv squared. So, and we know that the kinetic energy is the amount of energy that you need to remove from an object in order to make it stop by putting, by pressing the brakes. So not only does the distance increase with speed, but when it comes to actual braking distance, braking distance, So we know that work done equals force times distance. And this distance here is going to be the braking distance. And this force here is the amount of force applied by the car brakes. Um, and if we know that that is equal to um, the amount of kinetic energy if we're trying to stop it. So we say that a half mv squared equals fd. Well, I can cancel out my constants because they're not changing anything, so I cancel them out. Okay, and I can now see that the distance is proportional when I cancel things out. When I cancel constants out, I change that sign from an equal sign to a proportional sign. So I can now see that my distance is proportional to my velocity squared, and that's why we have things like speed cameras. Um, and why people are so care, care so much about people reducing their speed rather than making their cars lighter because if you made your car lighter it would definitely reduce the braking distance but if you reduce the speed then it's the square so if you were going 20 miles per hour instead of going 10 miles per hour then you wouldn't just take you twice as long to stop it would take you four times as long to stop because it's the proportional to the square and you've got to be careful of these proportional to the square laws so if you go twice as fast, it takes you four times to
to stop. You go four times as fast, it takes you 16 times as long to stop.